Welcome back, this is M-Dog, and we are checking out the Fisher Online. Wolf is at it again. New update for Fisher Online as of, I guess, yesterday? Somehow I missed it, but um, this is basically, I think what he's done is, is changed the Ukraine map to, uh, to this new map. And um, I haven't logged in yet, so we're going to look at it together. So apparently this is a real river. Uh, my son came around, was, you know, was looking over my shoulder before he went to bed, before I was going to start taking a look at this content. He was like, immediately, he was like, yeah, that's, that's a real place. I guess they're studying about it right now in school. So uh, anyway, this river, if you don't know how to say it, uh, apparently this is how you say it. Neeper. Okay. Neeper. And uh, for my friends across the pond. Neeper. Neeper. There you go. And it uh, looks like a cool place. There you go. Quick little picture here. The Neeper River. I like it. So, let's get into game and see what it's like. Man, do I love this new splash screen. So, I think this is... Um, the last time I noticed this splash screen was the last time that new content was added to the Fisher Online. I just think it's such an improvement over what it used to be. The blues are just awesome in that. So this is... I'm trying to remember where I was. Oh yeah, this is the new Russian map. That's right. So we're going to go check out the new Ukraine, the River Dnieper map. And um, we'll just take a look at it. I mean, you know, we'll fish a little bit, but this is mostly just to kind of see the new map, see what species are there. I don't remember if I ever did it, but I was wanting to do, I, um, of course it's like midnight, which means it's going to be dark the whole time we're doing this video. Potentially. We'll see. I was wanting to do a, um, a video of this map because I hadn't really ever fished it before. I can't remember if I ever did though. Maybe I did. This is a cool map though. This is Russia. All right, let's travel. This is new Russia. I just should say there's now two Russian maps. Okay, so Ukraine is here. What's the last map he added, by the way? It was the new... Um, Oh, it was the Czech, this one, this one right here, because it's the um, the new carp map for like between Germany and France, which you can't see because I'm in the way, but it's like a carp map for folks that aren't high enough level to go to the carp map in France. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe you only have to be level 18 to fish in France. I thought it was higher level than that. Regardless, this is not about France. This is about the Dnieper River. It cost 85. I wonder if I'll even remember this map. What would what did the Ukraine map used to be like? Let's travel there. Maybe I can find it. Let me see if I can find out what the map used to look like while this is loading in oh I hate, I hate that it's doing that all right fisher online ukraine map oh we've got some music sorry guys you have to put up with me here for a second I was just trying to find a video that actually showed. Showed the map in action a little bit. Oh, is this the wild cart map? Yeah, this has got to be the wild cart map. Is that right? So we're at the wild cart map. That wild cart map has changed now. This is where you used to catch all the wild carp. You also get silver carp there. This is not the best um, example because, like, 
all the times I spend at this place, I don't remember fishing in that spot a whole lot, but I think this is the wild carp map. I'm trying to think if it would be anything else. That's got to be what it is. So interesting music here. Oh, it looks like the map has... Okay, it is still... Wow. This looks massive, though, by the way. Somebody pointed out in the last video I was making, I guess these anchor marks are places where you can get out of the boat. See, I didn't realize that. That's really cool, though. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Let's look at the stores first. Is there anything new? Mayfly, fly, grasshopper. I don't remember seeing anything about new content. And, and honestly, in some categories, I might not even recognize it if it was new. I just am not in this game enough to like recognize that. So I'm still doing the RF4 leveling guide, as hopefully some of you know. But um, I have thought about, to me, this game is getting so good. I've thought about when we finally break from the current RF4 leveling guide and, you know, take a six month break or whatever till we do another one. <laughs> I thought about resetting my account here and doing a really long epic leveling guide in Fisher Online. I just feel like it's gotten so good over the last couple of years that uh, it might be fun to do that. So let me know if that would be interesting to you. Um, we'll see, but I'm thinking about it. All right, let's look at the fish on the lake. All right, are there any new species? Rammed, perch, grass carp. So it looks like we're still getting credit for fish that we've caught here in the past. Loach, tench, zander, silver carp, white, ponic shad, silver carp, motley. So there still are wild carp here. The Danube, narrow crayfish, roof, bleak roach, bream, silver bream, eyed, goby, volbla, Chinese sleeper, glossa, flounder, valorous sapa, Wells catfish, crucian, leech, mollusk, rudd, grass pike, bluegill, mullet, frog, turtle, pilingas, garfish, European. I don't know if I've seen some of these in the game before, but I'm not sure. Bluefish? Mmm. What is a gummy mac red? Somebody's going to have to help me that's more familiar with this game. Persarina. Is that like a little rough? Oh, it's like a, um, wait, what are those called in RF4? Sterlet, yeah, I remember this thing. Barbel, Bori, Common Nace, Vimba, and Persian Sturgeon. Oh, this is awesome. All right, so what do we want to target? Well, let's see what the daily quest is. Oh, any fish? Grass carp. Maybe we do that. Maybe we go for grass carp. I don't know. The map is so different now. You know, there used to be this huge pier. It kind of looks like you're still... It's similar, right? It's not identical, but it's similar. Whoa. I, still, I wonder if the uh, wild carp are still over there. I mean, it used to be great. Like, fishing for wild carp here used to be awesome. I'm sure it still is, but... I love it. That is so cool. Just seeing all the fish in here just by looking at that. All right, grass carp. All right, let's look at the records for grass carp. Potato cube. But mostly you want to use, it looks like, fruit, strawberries, boilies. You could also do one potato cube. 
So do we want to go for this? I'm trying to figure out what boat options do we have? Look at all the different boat options. Oh, you've got a refrigerator and two rod holders. Oh, you got three rod holders on this. You could actually just fish for carp out of the boat. Oh, wait. I always don't. I always do this incorrectly somehow. All right. Boom. All right. So now it's still there. Look at that boat. So awesome. All right. Is that what we want to do? I just don't know where to fish for them at. For the grass carp. They're probably not going to bite a whole lot overnight, but it won't be too long until they start activating, maybe. I mean, I really just think, like, down in there might be where to go. Let's go. Let's just explore a little bit. I mean, where else would it be unless it's like up back up in here? Look, there's some pond areas over there. Maybe we should check the like backwater. I wonder if there is a, um, this is just looking not quite as like weedsy and stuff as it used to. Let's travel back. Is this the only boat station and how would I tell? I want to say that a boat station was added back here, even when the Ukraine map was the old Ukraine map. But I might be wrong on that. I guess not. This does look like some good grass carp area though, doesn't it? Okay, so let's see. We're going carp, so we want to put some feeders on here. Do we just have some generic... Yeah, here's some grass carp stuff. All right. So it looked like strawberry, fruits, and then maybe we could do something creative. We do not want a... I think the biggest hook we'd want would be like a two, right? And I don't even know if we're going to, I don't even know how well this will work, but it's worth trying, I think. So let's just go one over here. And then maybe a couple over here. Yeah, I think I like that. I think that looks solid. So I believe we did strawberry, but let's make sure. Yep. And now we've got fruits on this one. Oh yeah, I like it. That's not what we want to have out for our third one. Now that's one of the things we were going to do is save up for the third carp, carp setup. All right, how do you think how do you think it's going to work with potato potato cubes on here? And I'm going to put this a little closer, right over here. All right, let's see if we can get a bite going. Again, it's middle of the night. Like, it's, you know, it's almost three in the morning. We might not see much until it gets a little later. But it's still pretty cool. What 
What could we do in the meantime? Let's look at the fish on the lake again. So did the records, the records must have gotten reset. The wild carp were much bigger than that at times. And weren't they all on nuts? Like all the record was on those, on that nut bait bait? Or did the records get reset and people just haven't caught the big wild carp yet? mollusk pieces I'm telling you it used to be fourteen point four it's the biggest grass carp used to be all nuts I figured if we got a bite on anything it's gonna be potato cubes because that can probably catch maybe more things than just the grass carp but I don't know Ooh, we're getting two here Maybe the uh, maybe the grass carp just woke up. I actually don't think that's a grass carp, is it? Oh yeah, it is. It sure enough is. Nice. It wasn't quite big enough for our income quest, but... Wait. Did that say wild carp? said grass carp didn't it yeah not quite big enough for the for the quest right so that first one must have been a wild carp it was a wild carp interesting okay I can't wait to see the new DLC map, to be honest. Okay, so it looks like wild and grass carp are back here, potentially. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I am just amazed. I mean, this, this map is... There's so much to explore now. It's unreal. So if we did at some point do a catch bluegill if we did do a um, you know a big leveling guide on this, I would still do RF4 videos, just you know not the leveling focus, more of just you know fishing different hot spots. So if you're not a fan of this game, don't worry, I'm not going to take. Uh, I wouldn't just play Fisher Online. I would I would do a combination of both, but I do think it would be pretty cool to. Um, to do an epic leveling series in Fisher Online.
So the potatoes, the first fish it caught was a wild carp. To me, this looks like another grass carp, though. Yeah. And that was perfect for our income quest. So it's almost 4 a.m. We are getting some, some bites. It's not bad. It's one of the things I love about this game. Is the whole uh, income and quest. Sorry. The whole quest system with different types of quests. Just very cool. And it gives you the excuse of targeting fish you wouldn't normally target. And so you often learn new things about the game on a variety of maps. It's just very cool. So the reason why that um, third fish we caught is not in our inventory is because we traded it in for the income quest that we have. So if it goes towards your daily quest, you still keep the fish. But if it's towards one of the specific quests, like the income quest, you actually trade that in. You lose the fish. It doesn't stay in your inventory. But then, of course, if you finish that income quest with fish that are around that size that it's supposed to be, you gain more income than you would by selling them to the market. And then other quests sometimes give you baits and stuff. Um, I don't love doing those. It's okay, but I don't love doing those. Unless you just kind of get lucky. It's like a really valuable bait. Maybe a bait you can't get yet because of what level you are. Then obviously it's worth it, but... And we could bring the boat around. So far, the sizes that we're catching right now, it hasn't really seemed necessary, but we could. Saw a fish jump up over there. We could move one of these rods kind of up against that shore over there. Might do a little better. There's some good activity right there, and our, our first rod's not too far away from that. See if we can get another fish here. There's the same spot. Over there too, though. Potatoes definitely seem to be doing the best overall, <clears throat> bite rate wise, but we'll see about size. Now this looks like a wild carp. So potatoes are catching both.
Wow. A wild carp again. I remember when I was lower level, you know, and you barely have strong enough carp gear to try to catch a wild carp you know you're always just like chasing it down in the boat <laughs> at least i used to those things at least then were big and aggressive and you just you know you've got like those starter carp rods and it's crazy i don't think we've had a single fish on our first rod have we I think we should move it. Okay. This would probably be a really good place to float fish or, um, you know, catch like the, the different little things that can be turned into bait, like leech, or I don't know what you would catch in this spot, but like a lot of times like narrow crayfish or leech or stuff like that sometimes can be caught right next to the dock, like the spot like this. Well, we should just go with potatoes on all three, shouldn't we? We'll see if this is grass or, or uh, wild carp, though. Most of them have been wild carp at this point. I couldn't get a good look, but that might have been grass. Yeah, that's a grass carp. Might just be too small, though. Oh, silver carp. That's cool. Well, if the first or second rod doesn't start activating soon, maybe we will do something different. I think we've only caught one fish on the middle rod and no fish on the first rod. Maybe we should try some of that um, plankton stuff. Surprised the grass carp trophies aren't on like some of the, let's see, what boilies would I be thinking of? Yeah, I like the green ones, honestly. I think more of grass carp on those in this game, but I might be wrong. I 
And this may just not be the best spot for him. Kind of tempted to go down to this like, can you fish out of this pond that's down here by itself? Ooh, look at this area. Right over there. And under that. It looks like you can fish over here. I mean, come on now. Pretty cool, huh? There's just so much to explore now. On this map and in this game. Just terrific. I think we need to go try that other spot though. Not the lake, but the... I also kind of want to try the plankton. Ooh, yes please. It's a good one. Is it a grass, though? <clears throat> Whatever it is, even if it is a grass cart, we probably don't want to take it with the quest at this size, right? Maybe it was still too early in the morning. Now they're starting to wake up. All right, what is this going to be? <laughs> it's going to be difficult is what it's going to be. Oh, look at that silver carp motley. <clears throat> ah, it's just a little wild carp. All right, let's go try this other spot down here just briefly. This just looks so tempting down here to me. awfully good yes please I like all three of those casts Now what's down here?
Let's see if any of these fish are wet, worth anything while we're waiting on the... Oh, I didn't realize how far it was going to be. So that Motley is 33. Eighty four total. Can we get here this way? Yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, I forgot that the Ukraine was the wildcard map. I couldn't visualize it. I, you know, I was reading when the Ukraine map got reworked. I was like, ah, which one was Ukraine? But that makes sense. Oh, this is the one with the new plankton stuff on there. Is this a really small carp or? Oh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, this is our strongest rig, but still, this feels pretty small. Barely can fit that thing in its mouth. I think that's just a little wild carp or something. It, I mean, a, yeah, wild carp. Maybe we don't want it quite so far over to the side. Adam fishing, Adam fishing too much. Oh my goodness. Sea turtles. But we're not catching sea turtles, right? All right, here we go. This is on the boilies. This is the only boilie we still have in there. So first impression, it seems like the fish might be a little smaller up here. Where we're fishing now. Although this one's a little bigger than that last one. Still not very big. At least it's a grass carp. Yeah, I think that's worth taking it with the quest. It's not much bigger than... Um, than the income parameter for that daily quest, or for the income quest.
Oh no. There are turtles. Wait, what do we catch the turtles on? Fish pieces? Alright, we have to try that, don't we? Why are we catching turtles? A three, three and a half kilo turtle. It's like an eight pound turtle or something. These bluefish are awesome. I also kind of want to try that, but that's probably in a different part of the the map. I don't know if we should use size one hooks maybe for the turtles or zero. Gummy Mac Red. Like, I just don't know. Is that something we craft or is that literally a bait? Gummy Mac Red. I just feel like I could spend a lot of time in this game learning, relearning some stuff and then learning stuff because there's just, there seems to be so much that I don't remember. Is that just about, that looks like a lure, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a lure? Seventeen thousand silver. Again, I don't even know how some of this stuff works anymore. Fish on. Which one is that though? Oh, we got it in time. All right, come on, be a grass carp. It's too small though, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Could just barely be large enough. I don't know though. What does it need to be, 4.1? Mm. I don't know. That's brutal. So now the potatoes, they were working like crazy. Now they're just about not working at all, or they're not working at all. So maybe what that teaches us is that it's, fit, it's better over here than over by that tree. But man, that tree right there looks like it should be killer for carp to me.
Are the turtles only out at night? I don't really know how that would work. Well, it looks like they've dialed in on what lure... works for these garfish. So... By the way, why don't I see the turtle on this list? Because it's not a fish? Oh, there it is. Predatory sea, big water, valuable. So those are going to be out like here maybe. I'm assuming that's where it gets closer to the sea. Maybe we should do a part two of this and go check out the C part of this map more. Come on. What else can we look at? What else is considered valuable? Xander. The Glossa Flounder. Sea Worm, huh? That's cool. Oh, it's called a trash fish. Poor leech. Of course, the Garfish European is valuable. The Mullet Palingus is valuable. This is on the Italy map too, right? Sea worm again. Common nace is considered valuable. Maybe for its size. Same with Vimba. And the Persian sturgeon. Okay, I hear you. I was going to get to you. I can't tell. I know it's not a wild card, but I can't tell the difference in like the Motley. Oh yes. We finished the income. All right. So let's check this out. Size one hook. Wait, can we put fish pieces on size one hook? Yeah. I don't really know. Is there any chance it'd be a size zero hook?
Just worm, huh? I think I'm still going to put size one on there though. See if we can figure out anything here before we wrap it up. Well, let me know if you've had a chance to jump into the Fisher Online and check out the new Ukraine reworking. What do you think? I mean, if you enjoy Fisher Online, I don't know how you can be anything but just overjoyed with the new content, the direction the game's going in this past year. And and by the way, I see people like Commander Jorge in chat right now on this map. And other people that some of them still play RF4, some of them may not play RF4 anymore. But they've been playing this game for a long time. So Fisher Online has gotten to a point now where there's enough content. You know, used to, I would say, if you don't have as much time and you just feel like RF4 is too much, too big, too grindy, whatever, Fisher Online is a great choice. Well, now, but, the, but, but Fisher Online is just not as much content it's it is less complicated it's less complex so there's less to explore there's less to discover less to keep you interested it's more and more hitting those both sides of it where yeah it's not as grindy especially for the first 30 levels or whatever but on the other hand there's so many maps now and the maps, even the older maps, some of them have gotten reworked so that they're so much bigger with so much more going on. If you're into carp fishing, you can jump into carp fishing pretty quickly. And then there's at least three levels of almost dedicated carp maps for based on how what level you are. It's just a blast. Really cool. So yeah, really impressed with Fisher Online. Well, this isn't working, at least not quickly. I don't know how long I want to hang on. I mean, we just need like three kilos left to finish this daily quest. We definitely want to finish that. Maybe I shouldn't have switched everything over so quick. What else could we target over here? Well, first of all, let's see on the update again. What did he say about the standing? Tench, Chinese sleeper, pike. Oh, I wonder if we could get a pike. Y'all think we could try to figure out a pike back here? I'm not sure if I remember how to fish for pike in this game. But it's okay, I'll... Ooh. I'll feel I'll feel silly in front of you. I don't mind. I don't mind. All right, what's this going to be? <laughs> it's a large loach. Yes. It is a large loach. Can't you turn loach into bait? Maybe not. Um, okay, so we want, see, 
See, I'm trying to remember what can we fish for. I mean, like you would think a jerk rod would be perfect for this, right? All right, let's see what the record shows on pike. Okay, what about the 20 gram top walker? Do I have that one? I mean, I've got the asp. Will that work? Again, I don't remember how to do this. Was this the right one? This is the asp. That's not the one that was on the list, was it though? The top W Walker. I don't think I have that one. We've got these big jerk. I, I just don't know that a pike here is going to go for that. I feel like I've tried to do this before. Like, are those top walkers like special? All right. Yeah, whatever they are, wherever they are, they don't seem to sell them here. Um, Cyclops M2. We have those, right? Twenty grams. What's the test here? Thirty-five. So we're probably first of all, we're probably just using the wrong. See if we can get this to work a little bit. Wait, is that a fish on? This is with a size one hook, right? Okay. Maybe we could go to size two with the worm. I don't know. Oh, it's under the test size. Uh-oh. We got a keeper. I mean, the way it's swimming around, I'm thinking this is probably not a turtle. <laughs> is it going to be two kilos and get us over the weight requirement, though? It's just a little bitty carp or something, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, I was off on the size. We still need to. All right, so. Wait. Dang. Uh-oh. 
Houston? Houston, we have a turtle. Come on, still be on there. No! Did it get off or is it just so light? Oh, it's just so light. It's a mollusk. Ready. Another mollusk. Yep. Hey, these are good baits. Okay, what about a... Alright, this test should work for this, right? Or even this one? Almost that one, but definitely this one. So let's try it. Come on now. Come on. Do we ever just do uniform guiding with this spoon? Sorry, I'm going way longer than I intended, but now I'm just kind of fascinated by like, <laughs> what can we catch back here on different lures? I just think it might be time for me to seriously start considering when we could do a leveling, epic leveling series in this game. It just feels like the right time, doesn't it? Seems so slow. Uh, well, if we can get this fish in, that might have finished our quest. Right? I mean, this is a smaller setup, but it seems like a decently sized fish.
Oh my goodness. It's not a fish at all. How do y'all feel about that? How do we feel about that, folks? So there used to be a thing where you would like lift and then maybe it needs to be a little faster. I can't get it to do it though. It's just been too long since I've tried to do spin fishing in this game, but it was like you would lift it and you only would reel in on the way back down or something. I can't remember. But whatever we're doing, it's not working. Let me try one more thing, then we'll wrap it up. We'll go sell our fish. Oh, there we go. Something hit it. Oh, yeah. Something hit it. Something kind of mean. Yeah, even these katanas, these are awesome. Uh-uh, don't be doing that. We're getting this guy in, I think. I wasn't too sure for a second there, but I think we're getting this guy in. I think that might be a pike. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Whew. Six kilo large grass pike. That's pretty cool. All right, well, we finally got a grass bike. <laughs> we figured it out. We figured it out. Pretty interesting group of fish we've caught here. So we should be able to turn, yeah, get some mollusk pieces. Always worth doing that, right? And that's not going to be worth anything. So there we go. So this is what we're left with. Oh, I can't wait to see how much the turtle's worth, right? 50 cents and a Coke. Oh, 19.4 silver. That's not bad. That's not bad. And look at that grass pike coming in at 39 silver. 147.62 silver total, plus all the quest stuff we did. Very nice fishing very nice fishing and most important just a ton of fun and i love this new boat it's just 
telling you. Oh shoot. Look at that. Look at that. By the way, that's a bottom rod. <laughs> the only one I can't put in there is the spinner. <laughs> Wait, what? Are these... Oh, it's just a bug. I mean, it was, I don't know what, but... Woo-wee! All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Tight lines, everybody. I'll see you next time.